here at Sun and Fun 2018, I've come across an airplane that I thought I knew, and indeed I do know this airplane, but there's a number of changes to talk about now. My name is Dan Johnson, and I'm talking with Danny Leibovich. Yes. Is that about right? Labovich. Labovich. Close for an Close American. Enough. Yes. And uh, we also have another friend that I've actually flown with here. His name is Matic Milorad. Yes. Okay, I did pretty good with that, too. Not, not too bad for an American. <laughs> We wanted to look into this airplane here. You've been around for a little while now in the business, but there are some changes. So first, let's do a little bit of history. How long have you been manufacturing this airplane so far? From uh, we start the development of this airplane from 2007 up to 2009. In 2010, we start uh, to test flight and actually from 2010 flight. <laughs> Seven on pieces and 2010 we start uh, to sell in the Europe. In 2013 was certified in uh, German under uh, LTF World German Certification Standard. Uh, even if uh, before was certified in Italy, France, Spain, Sweden, other country. How many are flying today? How many of all models that you have produced are flying today, Matis? Around 200 uh, airplanes fly uh, around uh, Europe from Kazakhstan uh, through the Europe to Sweden and some pieces in Libya also. Okay, very good. All right, so now the plan has changed considerably though. Now you two gentlemen have come to an agreement and you are forming a business together. You from Serbia, you from the United States, and you're talking about producing here in the U.S. with parts that you fabricate in Serbia, send to the U.S., and assemble here. Do I have that correct? That is correct. Okay, and when when are you about to embark on this new venture? Are you already moving on it? We are actually already moving forward with that. Tell me what your process. progress is so far. I mean, I look at the airplane and I see end numbers on it, so yes, clearly you're already here in the U.S. in some form. Tell me what the plan is, Danny. So the plan actually is to start the the manufacturing process as it is right now in Europe, but we are actually looking to move it to Portage, Indiana, which is actually our home base. We're not doing the, the manufacturing as, as it is now. We'll still do the most of the manufacturing in, in Europe with the control of the American company, which is the Aero East USA. Okay, so yeah, this is an important thing to our FAA that if you are establishing yourself as the manufacturer, you have to be in control of the design and you two will work together to make that happen, is that correct? That is absolutely correct. So put this together in a timeline for me now. I mean, you have an airplane here. I presume this was built in Serbia and shipped here and then registered here. But the next, at some point in the future, you'll start actually assembling aircraft here? Or you'll, you'll bring in mostly complete aircraft at first and do finish work here? We'll start the actual, uh, most of the work will be done as it is right now in Serbia. And then eventually we'll start phasing it into where it'll be done in the portage. More and more pieces yes. here. Because as you said, some of the, many of the materials are starting in the United States anyway. Yes. Actually, we buy a material from United States and our intention like uh, will be that. Uh, Iris USA, American company, will buy materials, raw materials, uh, probably also cutting under CNC machine, drilling and prepare pieces, send in Serbia for assembling, one part of assembling, interior uh, assembling, painting, and then back to United States for final installation engine, avionics, propeller, and uh, put ready to fly. Okay, this is a very common thing now. If we look at something like the iPhone, it follows a similar rules. Designed here, parts are fabricated all over the world. They get sent to China, and China puts them together because they have low labor costs. Yes. That's what you're offering in Serbia. Yes, but wh where is the point? In any case, a uh, U.S. company will be owner of the license and under control and ordering a Serbian company what they have to do and how they have to do it. Excellent. Okay, so what kind of timeline are you on with these efforts now? How soon will you be ready to do some of the things we just discussed? Well, we're already in the process of the actual certification with the FAA. So we just had a conversation with the gentleman that's actually working with us to get this done. And uh, he said possibly within a couple of months that we might be able to get the certification. But worst case scenario, he said by the end of the year, we should have actual certification for this plane. Okay. So Getting all the various pieces together, bringing everything in, getting the FAA certification may take you the rest of this year. You'll really be starting 
full speed ahead in 2019, 2019. would that be correct? Okay. I would say that would be reasonable that, to say. Yeah, sounds realistic to me. Yes. You know you already have these approvals in Europe that you've got, so you know what the, some of the requirements are. The ASTM standards are used in Europe as well as in the U.S. and many other countries. You know how to follow those, I presume. You've already built 200 airplanes. This is not this is not a first-time effort for you, Wellens. Absolutely not. But the goal is to sell a fully manufactured aircraft. Is that correct? That is, that is very correct. Okay. Do you have a plan about accessing the experimental LSA side of things where the owner has extra privileges. He loses some privileges, but he gains some other privileges. We, will you consider that as well? We absolutely will consider that, for sure. Excellent. So, okay, that's a good plan, I think, for many customers are interested in that these days. For one, because they can do their own maintenance. Maintenance costs a lot of money. It's a way for people to keep the price down. Yes, and Excellent. That's, that's our goal, to try to keep, keep it reasonable, keep it affordable. So let's talk a little bit about the construction of the aircraft. As I look over my shoulder here and back behind us, uh, it appears to be all metal construction, is it? That is absolutely correct. Okay, and which engine or which power plant are you using? We are using a Rotex 912 engine. Okay, and will you offer the IS as well? We absolutely will offer that. And uh, do you have any plans about the 915, the new one that's Rotex is coming out with? Yes, actually, uh, in originally company where we start and develop this airplane, we used, we was one of the first company, one of, of the four first company in the Europe who used the IS uh, engine and we participate together with uh, uh, some company to develop an IS uh, engine testing and changing software, software one, software two, software three, you know, with uh, Mr. Franz from Germany. And if you remember when we meet each other, that was 25th anniversary of the Rotex engine. That's right. When I was in that time, the pilot was most flying out on the world in 2013, because when I received the silver piston from the Rotex, it was 1,270 flight hour in one year. I do remember that when we first met. This was at a celebration that Rotax Austria put on um, uh, to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the 912 engine, and uh, that's when we flew together, and that's when you won this award. So, but now about the 915. Yes, that's what I want to say. We are always open and interesting to testing and and growing and developing something new, and. Uh, now I just work uh, with 915 in, in, in the Serbian uh, with MT propeller and we expect very, very great uh, performance up to one, between 130 and 140 knots cruise speed. Okay, for that aircraft in this country, it would have to be experimental, so you couldn't use that speed in this country. Y yes, and uh, with additional tank, uh, uh, 10 hour a range of flight will be very great uh, airplane for cross country. All right, very good. So all of this, uh, the metal work, you'll buy the metal here, you'll ship it to Serbia, they'll use their lower cost labor to uh, do the work on the metal, send you actual finished parts back where you'll uh, you'll work together to direct the uh, production of the airplane in special and experimental light sport aircraft. Is that a correct summary? That is very correct. Okay, very good. Well, I've asked you a number of questions about it and we want to follow you as you continue forward and uh, have people be able to ask you more questions that I may have forgotten or perhaps to discuss uh, ordering an airplane with you. Where do we send them on the web, Danny, to find your company in the United States? www.aeroeastusa.com Very good. I have information about flying with Matic in, uh, in uh, Vels, Austria it was, yes. and uh, you can find more of that and all kinds of affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining all three of us here at Sun and Fun 2018.